episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vincent. I'm Army veteran. And today we will be talking about how to schedule a burial for a veteran or family member. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content for Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your story or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that we got that out the way, let's get into this topic. So again, today we're talking about how to schedule a burial for a veteran or family member. As you can see right here on my screen, this is the actual official website for VA.gov. And I'm going to put this in the description as always so that you can get this important information. There may be something I may miss out on. There may be something that I may not say or there may be something else that you're looking for. So I really want to make sure that I put this in the description box so that you can get all this important information. So what I want you to understand is that honoring the service of a veteran or family member with a proper burial is an important way to show respect and gratitude for their service. If you're in the process of planning a burial for a veteran, spouse, or dependent family member, it can be helpful to know what steps to take and what to expect. If you have a pre-need decision letter that confirms eligibility, schedule a burial is relatively straightforward. You or your funeral director can contact or call the National Cemetery Scheduling Office at 800-535-1117. Again, that office number is 800-535-1117. Or you can also dial 711 to request a burial. Keep in mind that the pre-need decision letter does not reserve a specific cemetery or gravesite. So eligibility may need to be reviewed again at the time of death. If you do not have a pre-need decision letter, there are three steps you need to take to schedule a burial. First, gather the necessary information documents to identify the deceased including their DD-214 or other discharge documents. Next, decide on the burial details and gather all related information, such as the preferred cemetery and type of burial. Finally, contact the National Cemetery Scheduling Office to confirm their burial application. National cemeteries are open for burial Monday through Friday, and available burial times can be obtained by calling the National Cemetery Scheduling Office. In some cases, it may be necessary to contact a National Cemetery directly for specific information or to request relocation. If you are the spouse of a designated family member, of a veteran, you may be eligible for financial assistance with burial and funeral costs. Additionally, veterans may be eligible for dependency and intimate compensation. At burial, military funeral honors and a committal service may be provided to honor the service of a veteran or family member. It can be helpful to know what to expect and how to apply for these benefits. Planning a burial for a veteran or family member could be a difficult process but it is an important way to honor their service and sacrifice. By following these steps and seeking assistance when needed, you can ensure that your loved one receives a proper and respectful burial. So as you can see on my screen, this is the actual site again at va.gov, and it has all of the information that you may need. If you have any problems, please make sure that you contact a VSO you can go back and look for that video and I'll give you a step-by-step of how to find a VSO in your local area and information about who VSOs are. You can also hit me up in my email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with any information that you may be lacking or having a hard time understanding. And right here, you can see all of this information that I went over, they give you an actual step-by-step or what you need to do. They give you a checklist of what you need to have so that you can ensure that your loved one get the proper burial. I really wanted to go over this because this is one of the things that as veterans, we don't always prepare for or we don't prepare our family members for. And when it happens, it happens. And the last thing you wanna do is find yourself in a situation where you don't know where to turn to. And the coolest thing about VA.gov is 
they have all of this information on there, but I wanted to make sure that you are aware of all of this impertinent information. And they break down everything detail for detail and they go in depth about it. One of the coolest things I found out is they had information for those who wanted to be buried at sea. I think that's very cool because I know there's a lot of Navy personnel or maybe just anybody who want to be buried at sea. They have a program for that. And then also they have help with burial costs. I think this is very important because a lot of times people aren't prepared to bury their loved ones and they are in situations where they need help with applying or finding financial compensation to help them with their burial of a loved one. So all of this information is on here. Again, I'm going to put this stuff in the description so that you can have this information. And as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince from Vet Talk. My good people, Vet Talk out.